Hey, queens and kings, I know it have been a minute, but you know what the world is going through. So there's no need for me to tell you guys what I'm going through because I know you're going through to it as well. But anywho, I will be giving you guys three simple DIYs where I'll be using Dollar Tree items, where I will be revamping some items, creating some new items or whatever. But anywho, I'm starting off here with these wire wreaths on smaller sizes from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using some Gorilla Glue to actually place the round mirror there in the front, which that is a Dollar Tree item as well, if you guys seen it in the beginning. And I'm also going to use some hot glue just to help secure it in place until the Gorilla Glue completely dries. Now we're just going to place that on the very top inner ring of this wreath. Apply some pressure so therefore it does not come off, but I'm going to flip it over and apply some more of the hot glue to help secure it all in place. As you guys can see, some of it is not touching, so therefore that's the reason why I'm putting this extra secure of hot glue on the back of it. So after we got to applying pressure, I'm going to use this little candle holder that I purchased from Target a while back. And it was nothing but 99 cents. So that was very good there. Um, here I'm placing some E6000, not E6000, the Gorilla Glue, you guys know, as well as some hot glue to secure this candle holder in between the first ring and the second ring to actually make this a sconce. You guys know I have to ease one in there some kind of way. Or whatever but i just had to do it and now after i don't apply all that glue and everything we're just gonna set that directly in between that so therefore i could be able to set a candle anything up on it whatever i desire to put in it i guess so after that have been placed in there we're going to add some more glue because we don't want this to fall apart and we're just going to flip it around so therefore i can start placing the gems down now you guys have seen me place these gems several times so i don't think i would just keep talking through this step for you all though but you guys get to just place some glue down on each side where the gem's gonna touch a meat and you place a gem that simple So here they are, queens and kings. I love the way they turned out. I just love how simple they are. And if I had any more of these rings here, these garlands or whatever, I would have made two. So do you guys enjoy it? Now let's move on to the second one. Now this one here is so simple and easy because I'm actually recycling some more items. Here are some plates that I purchased from the Dollar Tree Light like Little Salsa plates. They plastic and I'm just going to place some glue in the center of this to secure them. And then I'm going to do the same method that I did with the garland wreaths there as in the first DIY. It's the same thing but I'm just going to leave some space in between these. I'm not going to make it as close as I did those. But that's just easy and simple. Place some glue down and place a gem. Top, bottom, glue, gem. Top, bottom, glue, gem. The same method over and over. Now, also, this is how it looks. So, as simple as I said it was going to be, I really do like the way it looks. Now, I'm using these utensils. These are extra scraps from the utensil. If you guys seen where I did my tray, um... You guys will know where these came from, which I will insert the um, party utensils that I did use. But all I'm doing, just placing some glue down where I cut them off at and basically placing them in the middle, sending them around the middle of this salsa plate. Now, what I'm also doing here is basically make sure that it stay in places where the plates, the spoons actually meet on the plates. That's where I'm placing glue. Now, this is the second row here. I know it kind of sped up and everything, but it was repetitive, so I don't think I had to let you guys see the same thing over and over where i just place some hot glue on each one of the spoons and then i place some at the tip where it will be where it have been cut if that makes sense so this is all cute 
Now here is using a like a little cup or something from the Dollar Tree. So you can find all these utensils here, these items in the party section. And here is my little gorgeous flower candle holder, which I like the way this look. I just put one of a glass candle holder in there and sock one of my DIY coasters underneath of just to put a more glam to it or whatever a little extra touch but i like the way this looks simple and affordable okay so moving on to the last and final diy here i'm holding a laser cut wood um, picture frame from michael's here are some of the scraps from the utensils a mirror from the dollar tree that came out of old frame um, I'm also going to be using the salt and pepper shaker that I did purchase from Amazon because I couldn't find none at a party store or Dollar Tree at all. And I'm also using my hot glue gun as well as the Gorilla Glue Sticks. Now, these um, self-adhesive bling wraps came from Michael. I don't think I did mention that. And I'm just going to use those to outline the border of this laser cut frame. Okay, so we're going to take our mirror frame and we're just going to clean that off with whatever cleaning device, um, the chemicals you do have <laughs> to get all the smudges and the touches and fingerprints off. Now, flipping over our laser cut frame here, we're just actually just trying to figure out how we're going to place our mirror down. We're just going to place a lot of glue on the back of it and we're going to secure that to the back. Okay, so for my favorite part here, I'm just going to use the other end of those utensils that I did cut off um, early. And I did use my hot knife to cut these in half. If you guys been with me for a minute, you guys have seen me use that hot knife once before. But anywho, I'm basically going to take the salt and pepper shakers in the part where the pepper or the salt go at. I'm going to use that as the part where I'm going to place my candles because I'm going to make these out of little candle holders. Uh, so but it's going to be like a little tray of it and all i'm doing here is just placing some of that gorilla glue and some hot glue down and secure those on top of it nothing major but i like this because i have five or six of them now taking our frame with our mirror we're just going to place our candle holders now on the center of the mirror is i don't know have you guys seen this image where a lot of these candle holders at weddings or so what they using to put flowers in it or just candles in it. That's the image I'm going for. I can't think of the name of it, but it's going to be a taper candle holder pretty much. And I like the way that this actually does turn out. You guys seen it in the beginning. But anywho, we're just placing some that Gorilla Glue on the bottom of them. And we're just going to place some hot glue down and place them and send them where we want them to go. I really do love the way that this comes out. I really do love the way this came out. All right, queens and kings, so here it is, my taper candle holder, and I love it. And as you guys can see, I do have a stagger as in different heights and lever. I just love the way that this turned out. It's so elegant and beautiful, just so cute. And I have a pair here with another DIY that I did before, which I will leave in the iCards. But I love it, queens and kings. You guys tell me what you guys like about each and every one of these candle holders 
tea light holder as well as sconce. Do you like all three different styles and look? I tried to create something to give each and every person a different style and look. So I hope you guys enjoy.